Hello, hello, good evening everyone, good evening and welcome. Welcome to our class once again and also welcome to um, our last week for um, for this course. Now, it's nice to see you back, it is nice to have you all once again here. I hope you guys had an amazing break and had a chance to rest, um, to hop on and also to practice as much as possible. Um, before we get started for tonight, of course, it's important for us to, well, get to know a little bit of what we're going to be working on. And for this evening, as you guys already know, the topics are basically over. We only have one topic left, and uh, that is, of course, not going to be enough for a full class. Therefore, we're going to be working on something a little bit special, something that I um, like to do, and also because I would like to provide you with a space for you to practice even more. I know that many of you guys have been practicing at home, probably reading, probably, um, I don't know, listening to music, doing different activities where you guys get exposed to the language. But tonight, as we probably haven't really been doing a lot of speaking, we're going to try to do that. And the way I want us to go ahead and practice is by providing you with some um, tricky questions, some questions that can be complicated for some. Now, the only thing that I need you guys to do is to be honest, okay? Please don't go into the internet, don't use your cell phone, don't use your computer or any other device to search the answers to these questions because the fun is not necessarily to find the answer, okay? It's not the main point. The idea is not to find the answer. The idea is for us to practice, for us to get creative, and for us to have, you know, those uh, conversations where we can try to find out what is the actual answer to the questions. So uh, that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be getting divided into smaller groups. I don't know how many people are going to be in each group, but the idea is for all of us to practice and for all of us to have a chance to share. So... Uh, I hope you guys are ready for that, and I also hope that it's going to be something fun. Every time I have worked on this activity, it has been fun. I will provide you a little bit of a broader explanation in Spanish in a little bit. But for now, that's all I need you to remember. That, uh, yeah, we're going to be working on, well, on some questions. But the main point is for us not to cheat and also... um to practice, okay, to, to speak as much as possible. So that's the main idea. And uh, yeah, we're going to see that in, in a while. Okay, before that, uh, let's get to to talk about you, to talk about um, the question for tonight. And of course, it's very expected. The question is going to be about your vacation. So uh, what we're going to be doing tonight is basically sharing how it went, what was the highlight, what was our favorite part of uh, this free time. Um, I will start in uh, before you guys ask me, I will I will give you a head start on, well, what is expected of you to answer. In my case, my vacation was pretty relaxed, actually. I spent a lot of time with my family and friends. Um, I was, for much of the time at home, I went out only one time, and um, I also went to a lot of, like, the church activities. So, yeah, I feel like it was something, it was a, a very good time. And uh, honestly, I was really anxious to come back to the classes because I felt like I just wanted to be back here, you know. The first two days on Tuesdays, I mean, Monday and Tuesday of last week, I remember that around this hour, I was basically ready to log into my computer because I felt like I, I had to be teaching. Um, So, yeah, that was something that happened, that I was actually... Um, thinking, you know, that I had to, that I had to be here and that I had to teach uh, last uh, Monday and Tuesday. But then Wednesday and, and, and Thursday went by relatively smoothly. And uh, yeah, it was a fun time. Now, how about you? Let's hear from you guys. And I think we're going to start by hearing from Luis Eduardo. How was your vacation, Luis Eduardo? Hi, teacher. Hey there. 
Um, I'm fine. I was taking care of my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Um, I attend some religious activities. Um, we don't usually go out on vacation. Mm -hmm. All right. So good. Uh, taking care of your grandma and also um, uh, partic participating in religious activities. Great. Yeah. yeah, that's basically something very common. It's it's the same for my family. Like in this vacation or in vacations in general, we don't really like to go out because too many people, you know, are in like touristic places. And um, yeah, it's something that we don't necessarily enjoy. We prefer to go after or before the vacation because it's too crowded now. And um, yeah, I mean, staying at home probably is more advisable, you know, at uh, around this time. And also, well, this vacation has that religious importance as well. So for many people, we prefer to spend some time at church instead of, you know, going to the beach, mountain or anything. So good. Very good. Thank you for sharing. All right. Let's hear okay. now from um, who? Maybe Maria Dolores. So tell us, Maria Dolores, how was your vacation? Hi, everyone. Hello uh, there. In my my vacation, I started in, with the intramurals at my children's school. Cool. And then we went to Lake Ilopango. Mm -hmm. I... Viaje en lancha? What do you say? Um, you... Basically, had like a a boat ride. City on boat ride. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, in that's all. All right. Very good. Nice. Um. So, I think many people had their sports day. On I mean, it was something that wasn't actually taking place in the last few years. Y eso, el Sports Day se refiere a los intramuros. Sí, el Sports. Ah, Sports Day. Ajá, Sports Day. Ok. Um, entonces, eh, creo que muchas, muchas escuelas, universidades, la universidad donde yo estudié y donde solía trabajar, eh, también el viernes tuvo, tuvo los intramuros y era algo que, o sea, ya hacía días, no se venía practicando. So it was fun. I, I actually got to see, you know, two schools actually that day that had their sports day around here. And it was fun to see people once again out on the soccer fields and, uh, you know, with their kiddos once again um, playing soccer or playing baseball or anything. Um, so, yeah, it was it was fun. And I bet, you know, for you as well, was something good to get to see your kids um, playing and also then getting to enjoy um, the lake. So. Good. Very good. Sounds like a, like a very good start for the vacation. Nice. Very nice. Uh, moving on. Let's hear maybe from uh, Laura. How about you, Laura? How was your vacation? Hello, everyone. Hello there. Sorry. In my case, um, only take a long rest <laughs> in my home. But... Uh, uh, one day, uh, I traveled mm -hmm. to the El Zapote Beach. Hmm. Where uh, is that one? It's a uh, it's near Garita Palmera. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is is very tranquilo. How do you say? Calm. 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 Como calm. de calmado. Mm -hmm. Ah, calm. Calm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a the the water is calm and the um is is good to the travel in the boat too, but uh, I don't have an opportunity to to do to do it. But I I my vacation uh, only stay in my home because I like it because all all day I I went to my job. That that's the reason why I prefer. Stay in my home 
but uh, when when I have an opportunity, uh, I go to the trip too. All right, very good. Oh, yes. me. So it's you know it's fun. It's great to spend some time at home after you spent what uh, up to this point. It has been maybe three months already, only working, only at your work. So having some time to to just relax is of course going to be something good for you and for everyone. So, you know, spending some time like that will be will be a great option. And it's of course understandable that we want to rest. And but at least you got that chance, you see, to go to Garita Palmera to enjoy a little bit of your time off. And um yeah, the, those are some of the things that happen because everyone has like a different way of living their vacations. And uh, that is why it's great, you know, to share and to express oneself um, following that, that same idea. Now, how about the case of uh, Jorge? How was your vacation, Jorge? Good, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, my vacation was very boring because I was uh, sick. I was Ooh. flu during the holiday. Mm -hmm. So um, I was at home all the time. I was watching TV, listening to music, and talking with my friends. So my holiday was very boring. For me, very boring. I don't make the, the plans. Yeah, that's very sad. That's very, very sad, you know, to... Um, to get sick right before you start a, a holiday or right before you start a vacation, something that it's, it, it is not wishable to anyone because then you have to spend basically the rest of your vacation only at home um, trying to get better. And, uh, well, I can see that I think you're better now, but that's sad, you know, that you got sick before and then you feel better right after. Um but still, you got to rest. I mean, at least you you can take that, you know, as, as a good thing. You got to rest and to, and to watch TV, as you said. So, well, at least you had something to do. Um, of course, it's not going to be the same as following the idea or plan you may have. But, you know, it's it's something. So, yeah. Well, anyway, things that happen sometimes, hopefully for August, is going to be better. All right. Uh, moving on. Let's hear now from... Uh... Melissa, how about you? How was your vacation, Melissa? Hi, and um, in my vacation, I went to see the processions and the carpets. Mm -hmm. And I went to eat with my family, too. And also, I saw some movies with my family. All right, great. Um. Going to those processions or, or to seeing the carpets was something, as I said before, that I did as well. Um, so, you know, it's 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 part of the idea of this holiday, like uh, spending some time at church. So I think that you follow the idea, you know, of, of like going to church, spending some time there. And uh, as some people say, just living the experience of a new holiday week. Uh, but. At the same time, I don't know how was your experience or in my case, I just felt a little bit disappointed with the fact that um, I don't know why or how, but I feel like every time or every year is different in terms of like how many people go to these activities or at least here in my community. Um, this year was kind of sad to see how few people actually went, you know, to the to the processions. Um, and also to see that back in the day, I remember when I was smaller or younger, I will see people making around 15 or 17 carpets in this year. I mean, in, in my community, as I said before, and this year it was only like five of them. So it was sad to see that as well, because, well, before it was like a big activity, like many people from the, from the city just came out and. And it was very crowded and you will see people that maybe you hadn't seen in a while. Um, but now it's not the same. Like people are, are losing the customs or the traditions and, uh, you know, things that happen sometimes. But still, um, it's part of the idea of the holiday. 
So it's great that you actually participated in those in those activities. But okay, uh, we're gonna hear now from uh, Ruth. How about you, Ruth? How was your vacation? Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Good evening. Well, my vacation was so good. Uh, I finished uh, manual arts. I went uh, to grandma house and I went uh, to Santa Ana department to visit my boyfriend's family and I ate uh, a lot of typical food torrejas mango and milk <laughs> okay yep. sounds like a fun vacation sounds like a fun little vacation you know spending time with your um, family and also your boyfriend's family uh, and at the same time, another of the things, another of the customs, which is um, eating all those like typical foods for this time, which, as you mentioned, um, would be the um, torrejas, which is something very common, which actually I only discovered like three years ago. That's something that is a custom for many people in the country. I didn't know about them until like three years ago when my sister tried to make them. But then we also have tortas de pescado, mango y miel, and all those things that are very common you know for this time of year so again it's something nice to see that um you know new generations and, and more people are also doing the same like trying to follow the same the same ideas but uh okay so thank you guys very much for sharing for the rest of you we're going to have right now an opportunity to participate in the class um ahorita les voy a explicar y se los voy a, hacer, a decir en español para que sea más sencillo lo de la Actividad que les estaba mencionando al principio. A ver, la actividad que vamos a trabajar es irá de lo siguiente. Nos vamos a dividir en pequeños grupos, ¿sí? Creo que hoy va a ser quizás como de unas cinco personas cada grupo. Y la idea será y contestar estas preguntas, ¿sí? Ahora bien, la parte importante de esto, como les estaba diciendo anteriormente, no es que contestemos eh, las preguntas de forma correcta. O sea, como de que... Yo quiero encontrar la respuesta, me voy a internet para buscar cuál es la respuesta correcta y, y así. No es esa la idea. La idea es más bien que ustedes puedan practicar, que tengan la oportunidad de poder practicar en sus pequeños grupos. Entonces, para esto, les voy a invitar a que nada más nos limitemos a eso, ¿verdad? a tratar de conversar con los compañeros cuál podría ser la mejor opción, cuál podría ser eh, la opción que más se apegue, ¿verdad?, a, a la pregunta. ¿Son preguntas complejas? ¿No es quizás algo esperado que contesten todas y cada una de ellas de forma correcta? Si encuentran la respuesta, pues excelente, como les digo, no que la encuentren buscándola en internet, sino que la encuentren pues a través del diálogo y pues la actividad principalmente lo que busca es eso, generar la, la conversación y el hecho de que ustedes estén practicando, no que vayan y contesten de forma correcta cada una de ellas, ¿ok? Ya después, cuando hayan terminado, o sea, después de un tiempo prudente, vamos a regresar y ahí sí, ¿verdad? Cada grupo va a ofrecer su percepción acerca de cuál sería como la respuesta más apropiada para cada una de las preguntas. Now, the tricky questions that we have are the following. What gets wetter the more it dries? That is the first one. Okay, what gets, wet, what gets wetter the more it dries? What can be broken but never held? There is another one. What can be broken but never held? Okay, then we have uh, what word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary? What word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary? Then we have what it is, what is it that lives if it's fed and dies if you give it a drink? What is it that lives if it's fed and dies if you give it a drink? Then we have what never asks a question but gets answered all the time. What never asks a question but gets, ans gets answered all the time. Then we're going to see what goes up but never ever comes down. What goes up but never ever comes down. Then we have a girl fell off a 50-foot ladder but didn't get hurt. How come? A girl fell off a 50 foot ladder but didn't get hurt how come if you have one you want to share it 
But once you share it, you don't have it. What is it? If you have one, you want to share it. But once you share it, you don't have it. What is it? Then what starts with E and ends with E, but only has a letter in it, one letter in it? What starts with E and ends with E, but only has one letter in it? And then we have, how can a girl go 25 days without sleep? How can a girl go 25 days without sleep? Muy bien. Uh, ¿Alguna duda con alguna de estas preguntas? Algo que no comprendan, alguna palabra que, que tal vez no esté del todo clara o alguna pregunta en general que tal vez no entendamos antes de partir, así para que ya lleven verdad la mayor eh, cantidad de información aclarada posible. So, any questions, guys? Any, any um, doubts on, well, the questions or the words that actually compound the questions? Muy bien, voy a sobreentender entonces. Ah, sí, no, bueno. Sobreentiendo entonces el silencio, como que entendemos de forma correcta, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál eh, será la actividad? Entonces, ahorita vamos a hacer esto. Vamos a. Eh, yes. Vamos a dividirnos entonces para eh, poder trabajar en esta actividad. Como les dije anteriormente, la idea principal no es obtener las respuestas correctas, sino más bien el hecho de que practiquemos. Así que. Vamos a dividirnos y a tratar de conversar, ¿verdad? Con los compañeros para poder decidir cuál será nuestra respuesta a la pregunta. So, I'm going to be opening the breakout rooms now and you guys are free to join them. Este, hola, y tratamos de, de darle solución a esto. ¿no? De contestarla. Sí. Yo, yo he estado leyendo y, y, y la única que creo que, que sea así a la, a, a la ya sería la que creo como dice. La última está súper fácil. La última es cómo una, una chica puede dormir, 20, o sea, puede estar 25 días sin dormir. Fácil porque duerme de noche, no de día. <risa> la otra. <Bárbara. risa> ah, ah, pues la otra que yo tengo es eh, que eh, una que dice, ¿qué es lo que sube pero nunca baja? Tengo entendido, no sé, la edad. Ah, también. Mm. Ah, ok. ¿Y qué la... se puede, el, 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 el número tres, el, no, dos sería, ¿qué es lo que se puede romper pero nunca de retener? No sé si es el, el huevo, si se quiebra. Uh... ¿Y de la uno sabrá alguien? Esa creo que es, es que entre más se moja, más se seca. Ajá. 
que se moja más cuando más se seca, ajá. ¿eh? La toalla, El agua. no. <ríe> En el grupo hasta de ahí lo podemos. Yeah, you can read it and answer here in the group. Like the first one is what gets wetter the more it dries. So we have to guess, yes. I think. In Spanish is que se moja, que se moja cuando más se seca. Eh, uh -huh. in the is the how do you say toalla? No, I don't remember. How oh, well. How oh, well. Mm, yeah. Mm, maybe. For for me is desert. For me, that's why. Uh, I remember. Uh, I remember uh, when I I study in the primary. <laughs> eran adivinanzas. <laughs> I remember is the uh, why? How do you say? It? Okay. Oh well, how well. Thank you. Okay. Any more? No. So Jorge said the desert. La letra E. Pero I. Empieza con E, termina con E. Y solo es una letra. La E. La idea es practicar el inglés, no practicar el español. Todo el rato han estado hablando en español. <risa> ok. Es practicar el inglés. Sorry. Ajá. Uh -huh. <risa> Y ahí ya nadie dijo nada. No, es muy bueno, difícil. No, 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 estamos pensando. No estamos algo. pensando en inglés. Ah, vaya. Porque en el otro grupo igual estaban, pero hubo una muchacha que me evitó a mí el de tener que decirles nada porque ella le dijo, no hombre, te vamos a practicar en inglés, le dijo. Así que, ajá. That's the idea. Ajá. Sí, practicar en inglés. Ok. Ok. The answer to the last one is sleeping in the night. Mm -hmm. How can a girl go. go 25 days without sleep? Easy. We are sleeping in the night. Oh, teacher is at the night or in the night? At, at night. night. Sleeping
¿Qué nos pasó por acá? Íbamos bien, estábamos practicando antes. ¿Qué pasó? We are thinking. Okay, okay. The next is okay. what word is, is spelling correctly in very single dictionary? Uh, ¿Cuál palabra está mal escrita en diccionario? Viene, viene la idea. It's a little bit difficult. Mm, the question, what goes up but, but never ever comes down? Eh, quedamos que es la edad, entonces. La eight. La dejamos. La number five. Uh, I think probably could be uh, palmera. And the first one, what gets wetter the more it dries? Uh, no. Toilet Someone have an idea about that. What word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary? This question I don't understand because Spelling, como que se deletre incorrecta. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. ¿Qué palabra se deletre incorrectamente en cada Diction en dictionary? Uh -huh. The first one, I think, is a, a towel. Toya? Yes, yes. The first? The yes. first one? Uh, <laughs> no. Una toalla. Towel. Mm -hmm.
with the questions. Uh, if you have one, you want to share it, but once you share it, you don't have it. What is it? I think it's the hour. La hora. What number is? Uh, eight. If you have one, you want to share it. But once you share it, you don't have it. What is it? I think it's our, la hora. Oh, or time? Yeah, the time. The number nine, what start with E and, and ends with E, but only has one letter in it. Uh, the answer may be letter E. Or have a other idea. Yes, I think uh, letter B. Letter E? Mm -hmm. A girl fell off a uh, 50 foot louder but didn't get in heart how come how idea about that internet probably uh, is uh she felt in at the water mm -hmm. I don't feel probably the water in the pool
Ok, ok, me parece que fallamos un poquito, déjenme serles sincero, porque yo pensé que íbamos a practicar más, honestamente creí que íbamos a tratar de, um, de conversar un poco más, pero bueno, eh, espero que en próximas oportunidades sí se aproveche mejor el tiempo, porque siento que estuvimos mucho tiempo ¿verdad? callados y pues no era la idea, la idea como les dije era principalmente que tratáramos de dialogar, de, 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 de tener ideas y compartir con los demás las ideas. Entonces, eh, yo sé que es complicado, pero espero que, pues, sí, que en una próxima oportunidad sí tengamos ¿verdad? Como más aspiración a poder eh, practicar, porque pues, es básicamente el objetivo principal, como les dije desde el principio, para desarrollar esa actividad, o sea, darles la chance en la cual ustedes pudieran, pues eso, básicamente poder conversar, poder um, tener un rato, ¿verdad?, para, para hablar. Eh, algo que en algunos otros grupos anteriormente me han solicitado, pero pues bueno, vamos a, vamos a ver, ahorita vamos a, eh, a revisar cuáles serían entonces las diferentes respuestas de cada uno, ¿verdad?, de las, de las preguntas que se presentaban. Eh, hicieron un buen trabajo en eso, eso sí, debo reconocerlo, porque varios se acercaron bastante, ¿verdad? A, a la idea, o sea, a qué era lo que, lo que estábamos buscando, pero eh, pues sí nos faltó bastante en el sentido de la, de la práctica. Yo esperaba más, honestamente, o sea, que pudiésemos practic practic platicar, porque se los había dicho desde antes que era la idea, pero bueno, ya veremos. Ok, ahora... Um... Voy a, a referirme a ustedes, espero se hayan fijado con quienes estaban trabajando. Me voy a referir a los grupos como el grupo en donde estaba eh, Luis Eduardo y el otro, el grupo donde estaba Osmin. ¿Sí? Entonces, vamos a iniciar con el grupo de Luis Eduardo. ¿Ustedes qué respuesta le dieron a la pregunta What gets wetter the more it dries? O sea, puede contestar cualquiera del grupo. Pero um, si gusta usted, también puede contestarle, Eduardo. So, what gets wetter the more it dries? Okay, a towel. A towel. Very good. How about uh, Osmin? In your group, Osmin, what was the answer to this question? Uh, uh, the answer for me is, is equal. Towels. Okay, a towel. Very good. So, we're going to see that it's actually correct. Uh, the thing that gets wetter the more it dries is a towel. So nice, very nice. Muy bien. Second question: What can be broken but never held? What can be broken but never held? Osmin, en su grupo, what is the answer you guys gave to this question? Uh, uh, in my case, uh, I think the the air. 
Okay, air is something that can be broken but never held. All right, so air, great. Um, Luis Eduardo, in your team, or you can nominate anyone in your team. O sea, ustedes también pueden nominar a cualquiera del grupo para que dé la respuesta. What is the answer you guys, you guys uh, reached in your team? <laughs> Luis? O alguien de los que estaban en el grupo con Luis? How do you say uh, vidrio o cristal? Glass. Glass. Okay. Glass. Glass. Okay. So you guys thought it might be either the air or glass. So those are the two ideas that you managed, okay, that you um, basically had. Uh, in this case, I'm going to have to tell you that it was a promise. See? A promise. Una promesa. Es algo que podemos eh, quebrar pero no podemos um, sostener. Cuando hablamos de held, en este caso más que todo es por el significado literal del verbo. ¿verdad? Cuando yo digo hold something, hold on something, es que voy a sostenerlo de forma física. Entonces, pero las promesas no podemos sostenerlas así de forma física. Pero sí podemos quebrar una promesa. So, we say that um, something that we can held, sorry, we can broken, we can break, but we cannot held, um it's going to be a promise see all right number three what word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary what word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary what did you think in your group uh luis or anyone who was in in luis uh in luis's group si gusta como le digo luis o, cual, o bueno luego cuando me refiero a ustedes me pueden nominar algún compañero para que dé su respuesta Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Quién contestará del, del grupo de Luis? Uh, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, for this question, uh, probably we don't have the answer. You don't have an answer. All right. Great. It's uh, it's understandable. How about Osmin? In your group, Osmin, uh, what is the answer you gave to this question? What word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary? Uh, in my group, uh, nadie, tenía, nadie tenía idea. No, okay. nobody, no answer nobody. either. Okay, so it is incorrectly. Sí. ¿Qué palabra se deletrea? incorrectamente en todos los diccionarios, pues esa, incorrectamente. Sí, so what word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary? Incorrectly. So that is it. That was the word that uh, is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary. Of course, if we're talking in English. Okay. Then uh, we go with the next one. What is that? Uh, sorry. What is it that lives if it's fed and dies if you give it a drink? What is it that lives if it's fed and dies if you give it a drink? ¿Qué sería eso? ¿Qué sería aquello que vive si es alimentado pero se muere si le das algo de beber? Um, ¿Qué opinan ustedes, Osmin? Uh, my my uh, compañero, ahí se me olvidó. <laughs> classmates or teammates? My teammates. classmate Jorge. Uh -huh. Jorge. Have a word. Okay, Jorge, what is it? What is something, what is that? this thing that lives if it's fed, but dies if, if you uh, give it a drink? Define it. Okay, good idea. Very good idea. Luis Eduardo, in your case, what is the idea you guys had in your team? Classmate, help. Okay. The fish. Huh? The fish. Okay, a fish. All right. So, uh, the actual answer for this is the fire. Sí, o sea que sí tenía la razón, ¿verdad, Jorge? Sí, it's fire. El fuego es algo que, um, o sea, que vive si es alimentado, pero se muere si le damos algo de beber. O sea, si le agregamos, arrojamos algún líquido, of course, the fire is going to die. Um, the fish, it was a good idea, yes, but the thing is that, you know, fish, they normally live in the water therefore they are used to liquids um so it it will be tricky that a fish would die because it gets something to drink 
All right, the next one is, what never asks a question but gets answered all the time? What never asks a question but gets answered all the time? Okay, Luis Eduardo, your team, what is the answer you guys gave to this question? I I think uh, is an uh, answer. An answer? Okay, so an answer. It's something that you never ask, but gets answered all the time. An answer. Nice idea. How about Osmin? What do you think in your team? Uh, we all think it's a, a cell phone or a call. Okay, very good. Very good. It's your cell phone. It's something that... Uh, you know, it never asks a question because it's never asking question, but it's always answered. See, ¿sí? el teléfono es algo que siempre estamos contestando a pesar que el teléfono nunca haga ninguna pregunta o nunca nos diga nada, pero lo estamos contestando, verdad? So yes, it's your cell phone or my cell phone or a cell phone in general. Very good, very very nice. Okay, next one. Esta creo que sí la tienen correcto todos, así que vamos a ver. What goes up, uh, but never ever comes down. What goes up but never ever comes down? Osmin, what do you think? Uh, my classmate. Uh, ¿Quién era? A una compañera que respondió, pero no recuerdo quién era. Uh, I think it was Melissa. In your team, I think it was Melissa. So what do you think? In your, uh, yeah, I think Melissa was in your team. So Melissa, what is that thing that uh, goes up but never ever comes down? Ah, yo estaba en el grupo de Luis. ¿Vos estabas en el grupo de Luis? Pero, sí, yo sé que, pero esa sí la dijo usted, ¿o no? Teacher. Teacher. Sí, dígame, Mayra. Es. Es mock. Ok. Ok, that's a good idea. Smoke. Sí, el, el humo, smoke. Uh, pero Luis dijo la, la que sería en este caso la respuesta correcta, which is your age. Sí, su edad. La edad es algo que siempre sube, pero nunca baja. You know, your age. Siempre va para arriba. Never, it never ever goes down. Because the smoke, uh, if we see it in some way, you know, the smoke particles, are, of course, they're going to go up all the way, but they're going to transform into some particles of CO2 up in the, in the atmosphere. And that CO2 is going to fall back again into the earth with um, <laughs> the rain. So it's something that it's possible, you know, that it comes down. Uh, but yeah, it's it's not that happens all the time, but it's possible. En esta otra sí me gustó que hubo algunas ideas, así que vamos a ver si a, a qué terminamos llegando con la siguiente pregunta. A girl fell off a 50-foot ladder, but didn't get hurt. How come? See, a girl fell off a 50-foot ladder, but didn't get hurt. How come? All right. I would like to hear from, from you, Luis Eduardo, from your team. What do you guys think? What is the, your idea about it? ¿Qué pasó con esta muchacha? No idea. You have she no idea. Fell. Uh -huh. She fell at the water. Okay, she fell in water. Pro probably fell off a pool. Okay, probably she fell off a uh a sorry, a what? A a pool? Laura? With 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 water. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, she fell in a pool. How about Osmin? In your team, what are the ideas that you had? No, no teacher, no. Uh, no one had a clue. No one had a clue? All right. But... This one is very easy. She fell off the bottom uh the bottom step. See? ¿sí? O sea, no decía verdad necesariamente que se cayó desde los 50. Y ese es el juego de palabras que a veces existe con este tipo de preguntas. Dice a girl fell off a 50-foot ladder, but didn't get hurt. ¿Sí? Una muchacha se cayó de una escalera de 50 pies uh, y no se golpeó. ¿Cómo pasó eso? Pues fácil, ¿verdad? Se cayó del primer peldaño. O sea, si se cayó del primer peldaño, aunque la escalera sea de 50 pies, pues no se va a golpear tan fuerte porque se cayó, pues ahí recién, qué sé yo, de qué, 40 centímetros. So yeah, 35 creo que es la norma. <coughs> so yeah, she fell uh she fell off the bottom step. So yeah, pretty easy. Sí, esa estaba 
bastante sencilla, digamos, en cierta medida. All right, next one up. If you have one, you want to share it. But once you share it, you do not have it. What is it? Si, si tenemos uno, lo queremos compartir. Pero cuando lo compartimos, ya no lo tenemos. ¿Qué es? ¿Qué creen ustedes, Osmin? What is it? Help. <laughs> group. Okay, the group. What do you guys think it is? ¿Qué creen ustedes, los demás que estaban en el grupo con Osmin? Jorge, any idea on this on this question? No, teacher, I don't have idea. <laughs> All right, so it's a tricky one. It's understandable. How about you, Luis Eduardo? What ideas do you guys have in your team? Placement, help. Time. Time. Okay, time. If you have it, you want to share. But once you share it, you don't have it. What is it? Si lo tenemos, lo queremos compartir. Una vez que lo compartimos, ya no lo tenemos. ¿Qué es? El tiempo podría ser una buena idea, pero en realidad es un secreto. ¿Sí? Un secreto. Cuando lo tenemos, lo queremos compartir. Una vez que lo compartimos, ya no es más un secreto. Ya ahora ya se convirtió pues, en algo que no tenemos. Ya, no, ya lo compartimos. Una confesión. Una confesión. Ajá. Entonces, it's not a secret anymore. You have shared it, so it's not yours anymore. Muy bien. Esta será la última, creo que vamos a alcanzar a cubrir hoy. Bueno, no, en realidad eh, lo vamos a hacer todo, porque somos solo faltan dos. Uh, what starts with E and ends with E, but only has one letter in it? Y en este ambos grupos tuvieron la misma idea. Yeah. So, uh, in the case of uh, Luis Eduardo, what do you guys think it is? What yeah. starts with E and ends with E, but only has one letter in it? Is the letter E. Okay, the letter E. Osmin, in your group, what do you guys think? Ya contestó mi compañera. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. So, in Luis Eduardo, what is the, the idea you guys had? <coughs> letter E. Letter E. Okay. Yeah, let's see here. Escuché que ambos grupos dijeron que la letra E. It, it is possible. Yes. But the, the problem here is that we have that it starts with E and also ends with E. Therefore, we already have two E's. Ahora, el juego de palabras, como siempre les digo, es la parte compleja en ese tipo de preguntas. It's an envelope. See, ¿Sí? it's an envelope. Cuando dice, but it has, but it only has one letter in it, no se refiere a una letra, sino que se refiere a una carta. Sí. Entonces, estamos hablando acerca de un sobre. Entonces, un sobre en inglés se dice envelope y comienza con una E, termina con una E y dentro del sobre, like what is inside the envelope, es una carta. Así que ahí está, ¿verdad? El juego de palabras es el que es complicado. What starts with E and ends with E, but only has one letter in it. It's an envelope. Sí. Ok, one, a tricky one, a tricky one. Now the last one. How can a girl go 25 days without sleep? Ok, quien la sepa que la diga, yo ya escuché que varios lo dijeron, así que tell me. Uy. <laughs> I showed you guys the answer there. Sorry? Sleeping at night. Mm -hmm. Sleeping at night. That is the way in which a girl can uh, go 25 days without sleeping, you know, during the day. So yes, it's because she sleeps at night. Muy bien. Bueno, como siempre les digo, es importante en serio que tratemos de practicar cuando tenemos la oportunidad. Yo sé que a veces es complejo, ¿verdad? Eh, que tal vez no tenemos la confianza con los compañeros, pero tratemos de hacerlo, porque si no, eh, va a ser muy difícil. El problema es que también en este, en este grupo, eh, o bueno, por la clase en sí, no tenemos como tantas conversaciones y cosas así, tantas oportunidades de poder practicar, eh, pero cuando tengamos estas chances, tratemos de hacerlo, porque es importante para nosotros el poder ganar confianza, el poder um, comunicarnos, ¿verdad? Eh, en inglés con las personas que pues están en el mismo camino que nosotros. Pero bueno, uh, for now all I have to do is basically thank you guys for your attention and participation in this evening's class. I hope I will see you tomorrow again and I also hope that we will continue uh, learning and practicing tomorrow. So, thank you guys very much for your attention. Um, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Okay, bye. -bye. bye.